Okay, welcome back everyone to NQIS. Steve, I know we've got to do the theory first. Theory before the good stuff. Alright, so here's the Adreno. I've only basically put on the numbers that we're going to need. The outputs. So of course we've got 12 volt coming in. We've got our two press buttons that momentarily press across ground. So the video changer is on two. As we press the button, gives a signal to ground. The Adreno knows what's happening, sends a PWM signal around and through to the video switcher. The video switcher changes channel. The Adreno remembers that it's pressed the button once. When you press it a second time, changes the channel to the next channel and so forth. The second button that we have drawn in here will end up being a similar configuration. It will send a PWM signal to a digital potentiometer. Now I forgot to buy the analog potentiometer, didn't I? So we don't have it set up. We don't have the volume set up. So I've ordered a digital potentiometer. It was a whole one dollar and six cents. So that's on its way. When it gets here, we'll have sound on the other button. 9, 10, 11 and 13 may be needed to be used to drive the potentiometer. I'm not 100% sure. I'm not sure whether I can do it straight out of 6, which I've already soldered a wire and I have hanging out at the moment. But if I need to, I'm going to have to pull the uh, hot glue off that I've got stuck in there, so it will be in there. I have to pull it back off and solder 9, 10, 11, and 13 on. So if you guys are right behind me doing this, I would recommend soldering on 9, 10, 11, and 13. Leave a few tails hanging out. Okay? Just in case we do need them for the volume control. All right, so let's get straight into it on the bench. Okay, guys, welcome back to NQIS. Steve, just sit back down here. Well, we've got a working prototype. Everything's happening okay in it. A bit more light. There's a little bit more light in there. So we've got everything working as it should at the moment. Everything appears to be working exactly how it should. So we have over here our amplifier. Okay, there's a bit of a story with the amplifier, but that is working. We have the strap out at the moment, the bit of wire that goes, the cable that goes between the video uh, receiver and the screen because we're going to put our meter across there, across the, the first black wire, and we're going to see it switch away from itself, and then two presses later it will come back. So we will prove that PWM switch over here is working, and why is there two PWM switches, guys? Well, one of them is going to be used to drive another PWM signal through this spare yellow cable we have at the moment to the spare green cable that is hanging out of the amplifier and between those two cables we have to buy ourselves a digital potentiometer. Steve forgot. How do I turn the volume up and down? Bah. Well luckily we have a micro controller that we can program to give a PWM signal to a M140 or M4100 digital potentiometer chip something along those lines I'll put the description put it in the description below so that is something that's another one dollar chip so it looks very similar to an IC circuit like this. That's what it is. It's a little IC chip. 
it'll look like that and we're going to have to give it 5 volts or maybe even 3 volts and if we have to give it 3 volts well luckily we have an Adreno and we've got 3.3 volts that we can get from it. Now to power the amplifier what I did was uh, remove the original set of 5 volts for my modification for the DVR that I sent to the other side of the goggles in the previous modifications I took a 5 volt feed across the back of the screen well this time what I've done is I've peeled that 5 volt back and I've used it for the amp and I have soldered on a 12 volt JST plug male and female either side and the 12 volt is feeding the nano the nano can take up to 20 volts but we're giving it 12 and it's giving us out 5 and 3 so we have our own uh, con bucket converter basically on here and it'll give us our 5 volt and 3.5 and volt happily all day long for what we want to do so I'll just make sure I plug this in the right way again okay guys I'm going to have to stop it here and just go warning 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 Steve was wrong um, the little buck converter on the back of there can only basically supply about 40, 40 milliamps out uh, with the video switch that would have been fine but uh, we had the DVR didn't we and uh, about five minutes later while I was actually filming this I could smell things getting a bit warm and sure enough uh, the Adreno shut down and even lost the sketch entirely and when I pulled it apart the glue had basically given way the hot glue it had got that hot uh, so I removed the 5 volts that was feeding the um, video switch and the DVR and I inserted a little five, 12 to 5 volt uh, power regulator circuit Spec circuit chip that I had um, for FPV purposes for cameras uh, I had a spare one so I threw it in line luckily nothing was damaged and up it came and everything is now being supplied it's 5 volt that's the DVR and the video switch via the little FPV uh, 12 to 5 volt regulator that I inserted Okay, just straight back to the bin. So, I've just soldered straight onto the back of the 12 volt plug um, on the RX card. So, where the battery plugs into the RX card, I've just soldered directly onto the back of the legs and I've brought over a JST pair of leads. So, what we should be able to do is give this power and I should be able to put a meter on here and switch between the channels using one of these switches. So let's just do that now. Okay, so we've got some power over here. What have we got here? All right, so this plug, by the way, if anyone had noticed it just hanging in there, that's to connect to the TSR jack on the other side of the clamshell so we don't have to have them stuck together we can just unplug and plug together when you remove the clamshell pieces of the goggles so we'll just leave that sitting in there let's get some power on this okay so we're just going to use the USB power alright so there like that so we now have USB plugged in we've got 5 volts should be able to get a meter okay so while that signals going through the video switch should be able to press this once off press it a second time still not there third time a charm back so that's gone between the three channels it is starting up on channel one so there's channel two channel three back again to channel one okay guys so that's it. Okay guys, so I'm going to put it back together. 
I'm going to drill a few holes in it, try and mount these buttons, and then we'll actually see it for real life switching between the DVR and the, um, the VRX. Okay, everyone, welcome back to NQIS, Steve. Well, the video switch for the separate inputs is all functioning. Uh, we have a three-way PWM activated video switch installed. It is being operated by the micro switch that I've put down here. As you can see, there's two of them. One will end up being for the volume. So this one will end up being for volume. This one here that's closest to the USB is for channel. So I don't know whether you can hear those. Nice little micro switches there. Soft tactile. Okay, so the USB if you want to do any more programming to the Adreno, is in place. You're able to plug in. I'll just show you that. Uh, fits through. There we go. USB plug in. USB plug out. Change channel. Change volume up and down. Okay, so let's plug it all in. And the first thing to come up on the screen is me sitting here. Well, oh, let me get right so we can do this. Oh, Copter's yelling at me now. All right, so that's me in the... Let's just shut that off for a minute. Just plug it back in so we've got a bit of a screen to look at. Okay, so I'll hold it back up there. There I am in the screen. Now I'll just press the button. And now we're on the DVR. Now the DVR is going straight through the DVR so we could change what we're seeing on the DVR. Just let me get my hand around the back here. Looks like I've overwritten files now. There it is playing. Okay, so if I press the button down here again, go back to the TSR jack, nothing plugged into it, and back to the copter on the bench. Okay. And then one more press again. We're back to the DVR. Another press. Back to me on the bench. Okay, guys. I'll just turn that around. Okay, so there's the... So there you go. There's the Cyclops goggles. It's now got oh, the software on it and the screen inside so we can tune and scan between the screens. All right. On here, DVR. Okay. And now we have the ability to switch between the DVR, okay, switch into the jack, back to the camera, back to the DVR. All right, well, the quantum goggles. 
the quantum goggles that now have a the DVR, they now have a searchable and a selectable um, band selector. They have an OLED screen inside of them that shows you the band where you're on in a couple of different ways with a graph and all sorts of things. Um, we have a uh, jack out, I haven't put the case back together yet properly, but the jack out, or in I should say, jack out coming. So we'll do one more quick vid with the amplifier and the digital potentiometer and we'll throw that script up as well. And that'll fill that hole in this hole instead of having the video in. I think now all I might do is put a, a two and a half audio jack in there for the sound for earbuds in case you do want to close yourself totally off and fly with sound in your ears instead of coming out of the little speaker. So we've also got that to install as well, the little speaker. But as promised, we've got a video selectable switch, which makes a nice clean switch over and you're not switching the vid over with jacks. Yeah, dirty. Um, good reason to use an Adreno Nano. Uh, nice, easy sketch that was provided by um, Shell Kernan. Cheers, Shell, once again. So, um, yeah, Quantum Cyclops goggles, great to modify. And uh, one more thing, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you liked what you've seen. And if you don't like what you've been seeing, give me a thumbs down. Doesn't matter to me, there's still thumbs. And please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Okay, guys, see you soon.